Welcome to another Blender tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how we can make a procedural laser grid in Blender. So this is a light that we can take and project a laser grid. Um, it's easily scalable and it's completely procedural which means you can come in here and change a lot of the parameters and things um, to kind of customize it. It's super simple and we're just going to be doing some very basic node work for our light here. And yes, Blender does allow you to use nodes in the shader editor for lights as well, which is really cool if you didn't know about that. So let's jump in and make this. So let's set up a little demonstration scene. So we're just gonna select all of the objects, press delete, and I think a Suzanne monkey head will work really well. So we're gonna go shift A. Under our mesh options, we're gonna go um, down to the monkey head. And let's go to our modifiers and just give this a subdivision surface by typing a subdiv and there we go. Bump it up a little bit and let's right click and go shade smooth. So now we have a good surface here to try and work with. And let's also go to our render engine here. Let's change it to cycles. And just come here to our max samples under the render and change it to something like 55 for now. And what we can do now, we can go Shift A, and go down to our light options, and we're going to add in an aerial light. Let's go G and move it over to the side, and then R to rotate. And let's go over to our light data properties, and let's just make the size two meters. So now we've got a perfect little demonstration here of how to do this. So let's go over to our shading workspace, and just as we can grab an object like a mesh object and add a material. We can also grab a light in Blender. And this is the really interesting part. You can actually go to use nodes. And now you have an emissive going into your surface output here. And we can come and plug all sorts of things in here. So um, let's actually start by doing two things. So we want to have part of this light come out as an emission and part of it um, just be transparent. So let's go over here, Shift A, search, and let's type in trans get it transparent, make sure not to confuse it with translucent, so transparent. And then we wanna mix between these two. So we're gonna go Shift A search and type in mix. And let's get a mix shader, put it over here. We wanna make sure that the transparent goes into the bottom socket and then the emission goes into the top shader socket. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a procedural method to mix the factor of the mix shader. Um, for now, let's just also come here to our light and let's just give it something like a nice red color. So our mission here, okay, we want to give it a color. The transparent just leaves that as white. So let's go shift a search and we're going to get a brick texture because we want to make a grid. So let's get a brick texture and we want to come here to the mortar size and we want to make it really small. So let's make it 0.005 and let's come to the mortar smooth. We want to make that 0.001. We just want to make these values really small. And then with the brick width though, we want to make that one and we want to make the row height one. So it's going to be one by one. Um, and if you wanted to, you could always take one of these um, width for height and just drag on it and type in value, get a value node and then plug this value into both of these. That way we just have a nice way of controlling the brick size. But for now, let's just leave this value at one. Okay, so we just have one slider we have to work with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the color one and make that white all the way up to um, a value of one and let's grab this top one, drag this all the way up so we have a value of one here as well. So it's nice and bright. And a bottom one here in the mortar, we're gonna leave that as black. So we essentially want those just to be the fill in. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the color here, plug it into the factor, and then we're gonna go shift A search and just get a color ramp. So let's go get a color ramp, place it on here. And let's just tighten this value up all the way to the end here to make it nice and tight. And you're gonna see it in a second. But we also wanna just make sure that we tell this brick texture where to get and um, what vectors to take into consideration. So we're gonna come here and just grab the vector, drag on it, and let's just go mapping. So type in mapping and let's get a mapping vector. So it's going into here. And then we're gonna take the top vac um, vector here. We're gonna drag on it and just let go. And let's just type in para and get a parametric, which comes from the geometry here. So now, if we were to go Z and then go rendered, um, you should see it shining here, but the problem is it's way too um, scattered. So we need to actually go to our light properties over here, data properties. And we need to take the spread here, and this is just the angle at which the light is getting scattered out. So if it's really wide angle, um, it's gonna be way too soft. So let's just take this to something like 0.05. And now we can see we have a very narrow arc 
and the light is projecting on here like a laser. So now what we can do, we can do a few things here. We can come here to this value and we can increase or decrease it to change the size of our laser, which is really cool. And we can come here to the emission and we can take this strength and make it you know, much higher. So maybe take it up to five. You can also come here to your mortar size, make that value even smaller. And you can obviously mess around with the color of the laser. I think kind of like a classic red color looks really good. And if you wanted to make that laser even finer, you could always come here to the spread and make that value even smaller. Um, but yeah, that is how simple it is to make a laser um, grid in Blender procedurally. And you can absolutely grab this and rotate it around the monkey head or any object you want. You can scale the light like so. And there's gonna be something perhaps you guys could use this for, it'll be really handy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial and thank you for watching.